to demonstrate how to calculate a gear ratio from a planetary gear set. And just to begin, let's make sure that we understand how to calculate gear ratios in general. The formula that we use for a gear ratio is the number of teeth on the driven gear over the number of teeth on the drive gear. So for example, if I had a, a small gear that had 10 teeth on it, that was turning a larger gear that had 40 teeth on it. This is the drive gear. This is the gear that's being driven. And so we would say 40 over 10 or four for a four to one gear ratio. What that means is the drive gear has to turn four times in order to turn the driven gear once. And that's where the four to one gear ratio comes from. So it, it uh, affects the speed and the torque. Of course, the speed of this gear will be one fourth of the speed of this gear, but the torque at this gear will be four times greater than the torque at this gear. So it's a, it's a trade-off between speed and torque. Now let's see how we do that with a planetary gear set. Of course, a planetary gear set has three members. There's a sun gear in the center, there's a planetary carrier in the middle, and they're surrounded by a ring gear. Pull that apart so you can see the three individual components. Again, the sun gear, the ring gear, and then the planetary carrier here that has the planetary pinions on it. Now the way that a planetary gear set is typically used is that one of those three members is held stationary while one is turned. So we have an input and an output and then one that's held stationary. So for example, if I hold, let's do it this way, if I hold the the ring gear stationary and turn the sun gear. There's a gear ratio there. This is the drive gear, the one that's doing the turning. This is the one that's being turned, right? So the drive and the driven gear. And I could do that. I could just change the combination any way I wanted to. I could hold this still while I turn this. Hold the sun gear and turn the ring gear. Now the ring gear is the drive gear and the carrier is the driven gear. You can do that in, in many different combinations. But here's how you calculate this. So we would need to take each of these gears and count the number of teeth. So on the, on the sun gear, we'd want to mark it and then count the number of teeth. Now let's just say for the sake of the example that I counted 30 teeth on the sun. I would take the ring gear and count the number of teeth on it. Let's say that I, I counted 90 teeth. And then finally, I would take this gear, but I won't, I won't count the teeth on it. Um, first of all, you couldn't. There, there could be varying numbers of, of pinions on this gear, and it doesn't matter how many teeth there are on pinions. What I'll do is I'll say that the planetary carrier is equal to the sum of the sun and the ring gear. So that's 120. So that's the secret here is we don't actually count the teeth on the carrier. We calculate it based on the sum of the other two gears. So now I put that back together. Now I can, I can choose any combination of this planetary gear set. I can hold the ring gear stationary and I can turn the carrier. It makes the carrier the drive gear. And what's the driven gear? The sun gear is the driven gear. So the driven gear is the sun, it has 30 teeth. The drive is the carrier. And when I calculate that, I get one fourth, which equals 0.25 to one. And that's the, that's the gear ratio when I do it that way. So that's, that's an overdrive gear ratio. If I wanted to give you one more example, let's say that we are going to hold the carrier stationary and I will turn the sun gear. You can see that is reversed. The, the ring gear is going in the opposite direction. But now the drive gear is the sun gear. The driven gear is the ring gear. So driven is the ring gear, which is 90. Drive gear is the sun gear, which is 30. 
equals three or a three to one gear ratio. So the sun gear would have to turn three times for the ring gear to turn once. That's how you calculate a gear ratio on a planetary gear set.